new Smash Brothers reveal trailer and holy shit, Mega Man. I did not expect Mega Man. <laughs> I also didn't expect the Animal Crossing Villager and I really didn't expect the Wii Fit Trainer. But I think it's safe to say that I'm pumped for the next Smash Brothers. We've already spoken about the top five characters that won't get in the next Smash Brothers game, no matter how many times it gets posted in forums and comments. Click here if you want to see it. But you know what? A lot of those suggestions in those forums and comments are actually pretty legit. Well, most of them are better than suggesting Sackboy from Little Big Planet. So I'm going to tell you guys the top five characters that are most likely to appear in the next Smash Brothers game. Before we count down, I want to note that I originally had Tetra from The Wind Waker as number four. However, Tetra's inclusion is wholly dependent on the inclusion of Toon Link. I thought Toon Link reappearing was a shoe in considering the Wind Waker re-release. However, the trailer came out and look who was operating the train. That's right, Toon Link from Spirit Tracks. Toon Link had the same moveset as Young Link, so this leads me to think that we'll still have a Young Link character. Consider this my honorary number 6. Instead of Toon Link in the next Smash Bros, we will have the Young Link from The Legend of Zelda, a Link Between Worlds for the 3DS. The moveset will be the same, he'll just look different. Now, onto the list. Of all the characters in Nintendo's first party history, I think everyone was surprised that Little Mac wasn't considered for Melee and Brawl. We did get him as an assist trophy though, and I think that solidifies his chances of making an appearance, because you know he was on the minds of the developers. Punch-Out on the NES remains one of the most popular 8-bit games ever made, and its two sequels are just as exciting as the first. He'd be a perfect fit. Also, they had a boxing ring arena in the trailer, so I don't want to say that Little Mac will definitely be in, but I don't know, it's a, it's a boxing ring stage. He could be a unique character in that he only uses punches, like Balrog or Dudley from Street Fighter. He could have the star punch for his final smash, plus he's an original IP for Nintendo, probably one of the last ones that haven't had a proper character spot. Lil Mac might have the best luck of any other Nintendo character if they're going for new IPs. Well, except for maybe one or two or, or four other characters. Get it? Because it's a top five list. That's the, that's the, that's the joke. Oh, that music. That's Donkey Kong music. That's right, number 4 on my list is now the helicopter haired girlfriend of Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong. To be honest, she wasn't even a thought until the announcement of Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which revealed that Dixie Kong is a playable character again. Fun fact, counting her inclusion in this game, Dixie Kong has been playable in more Donkey Kong Country games than Donkey Kong. And she is the best player to play as, her ability to glide gives you more control over your jumps. Mark my words. Dixie Kong will be in the next Smash Bros. Have I ever been wrong before? Yes? Uh, well, well, we'll see, won't we? Oh boy, Waluigi. The snidely whiplash evil doppelganger of Luigi and partner in crime of Wario and all the... the games that aren't main series. Yeah... Waluigi hasn't appeared in any of Wario's or Mario's or even Luigi's main series of games. He's been in Mario Kart and Mario Tennis and Mario Party and Mario Golf and so on and so forth forever. But the thing is, Smash Bros isn't a canon series. Smash Bros fits in with the Mario Karts and the Mario Party games. Waluigi makes sense. He's been around since Mario Tennis on the Nintendo 64 and he's really due for a spot. He's the second most likely character from the Mario franchise to be playable in Smash Bros. Universe or Smash Bros. Tussler or Smash Bros. Kvuffle or whatever is going to be called, Smash Bros. U. However, the most likely character from the Mario franchise is... That's right, Bowser Jr. 
Ever since he appeared in Mario, Sunshine as Bowser's and Princess Peach's surprise kid, he's jumped up from being the second biggest big bad in the Mario series. He's now a mainstay of the Mario series. It'd be crazy for him to not make an appearance. He's also different enough from Bowser for him not to be a clone of Bowser. And we know how the developers of Smash Bros. love to make their characters clones. He could use his paintbrush from Sunshine and be a fast character. He's incredibly likely to make an appearance. Possibly the most likely Nintendo character. That's right, I said most likely Nintendo character. That's because number one is... Drum roll. That's me banging the table to make a drum roll sound. It's not... Drum roll. Uh, who is it? Uh... Yeah, Pac-Man. This may sound strange at first, but hear me out. He's not a Nintendo character. However, he is a Namco Bandai character. Why is that relevant? Well, Namco Bandai is helping make the next Smash Bros. So it only makes sense that the developers would throw one of their own into the ring. A lot of people online have been saying that because Namco develops Tekken, we've got a good chance of seeing Jin or Hayache. Well, those characters don't really mesh as well with the Smash Bros. universe as Pac-Man does. And Sakurai has gone on to state his reluctance for Tekken characters to appear in Smash Bros, stating, I think Snake and Sonic joining were fantastic. It made many fans happy, and it broadened the Smash Bros. arena. However, introducing more non-Nintendo characters willy-nilly will lose focus of the game, so I recognise the need to narrow it down. You could argue that this hinders Pac-Man's chances. However, Pac-Man has appeared alongside Mario and others in arcade versions of Mario Kart, which I play all the time at my local arcade, and this just bolsters his chances. Pac-Man has a real history with Nintendo, and this makes him the most likely character to appear in the next Smash Bros game. It's almost a guarantee. If he's not in the next game, I'll... Well, well I won't do anything, but, but, but you can say, Oh, well, you were wrong. You stupid. But, but don't, because that might hurt my feelings. You don't want to do that. Because I cry, and it's really gross when I cry, because I'm... Ugh. And that's my list for the five most likely characters to appear in the next Smash Bros game. Leave a comment letting me know whether you agree or disagree, or if you have any other characters that you think will or won't make it. If you liked this video, why not click on over to my video of the top 5 characters that won't appear in the next Smash Bros. If not, check out some other sweet video game show. Who knows, you might love it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe so you can be notified when a new video is up. I try to have one out around every two weeks. Thanks!